DeepSeek AI is outsmarting American AI with reasoning and efficiency. So let's get started with our tutorial. Now what we are going to do is just import our PSD file directly into the After Effects project that we have designed already. And when importing the file, make sure that you select these settings, you can just pause the video and look at it and click OK. Now, as you can see, that all of our layers is auto sized according to what we have designed in the Photoshop file. So, this will help us animating the scene very easily. Firstly, we will create these text layers into editable layers. For that, we have to right click and then create and then convert to editable text. It will auto detect the font it has to be installed in your system and then we will do the same to the first layer as well and save our file now we will rename the layers according to what we can understand while moving forward to editing the file so i will just rename all the layers now i'm just gonna shorten this comp to five seconds that's we have to work with now we are going to animate the text first i will just hide the text highlight layer and we are going to select text layer to animate it we are going to use animation composer in order to animate our text it's pretty simple you can just do text animation within one click link for this plugin is in the description it's free you can download it we are going to use the transition text layer Go on to characters and this will work just fine. You can adjust the timing according to your needs. We will do the same to the other layer and we will adjust the layer timing so that it appears after the heading. Maybe move down the layer a bit. Moving forward, we will animate the images and we will select the image layer. And we will go to the China layer, press P, turn on the keyframes and move the keyframe to 2 seconds. And activate the keyframe on the first frame and move the y axis of the image so that the image come from down below now this image animation is pretty simple so now what we will do is a linear animation just like we did in the other videos if you haven't watched other videos i will put the link in the card you can watch it there we will click on the speed graph and edit the speed graph as always now you can see the animation looks pretty good than before doing the same for the other image now i am just sequencing the layers according to what i feel makes the animation good now let's go to the deep seek logo how we are going to animate it we are just going to use the animation composer plugin to animate the deep seek logo and this will work just fine we can increase the animation time according to what we need and we are going to do the same animation for the other two images of chat gpt and the cross over it now to animate the highlighted text we are going to delete this layer and create a simple stroke using the pen tool we are going to use the ruler and align to the grid now we are just going to create a simple line and then we are going to change the stroke color using the pick color tool and use the yellow color from the china image and make the fill color go away and then we will increase the stroke width and add trim paths animation to our text highlight layer using the and keyframes as you can see 
and we will make this animation linear too. Now we have animated almost all the layers. We'll have to look at this and this also. And we have this exclamation mark to animate along with the Wall Street Journal logo. And to animate the Wall Street Journal logo, we are going to use the position and opacity keyframes both at the same time. And we are going to move the keyframes to two seconds, maybe one second. And move the logo to the left using X axis. And make the animation linear as always. And then let's preview it. I think the logo comes from far left, so we are going to change the x axis a bit. And then I think it works. And animating the line of the Wall Street Journal logo, we are going to create a simple line with the pen tool and choose the color black. And then we are going to decrease the stroke width and adding the trim paths animation using the end keyframe. And then make the animation linear. Don't know what happened to the text animation, but we did it before. Anyways, we can do it now with just one click. So we have to animate this arrow and the exclamation mark and this circle. So for the circle animation, I'm using an animation from the plugin. Now animating the arrow, we are going to use something that's called Luma Mat. And for it to work, we are going to use the pen tool to create a stroke in the shape of arrow. We don't have to be precise, just that so it aligns to the shape of arrow. And then we are going to increase the stroke width so that it covers the arrow fully. And then we are going to add the trim path animation using the end keyframes, then making the animation linear. You can also make it non-linear as well and adjust the timing according to what feels right. And I will rename the layer to Luma Mat Arrow. I will just pick this Pickwick tool and attach the mat to the stroke layer that we just created. And now as you can see it will animate just like the trim path animation that we gave to the stroke layer. And we will use the exact same technique to animate this exclamation mark just like we did with the arrow. Now we are going to animate this background colors of left and right. And for this we are going to use the already created Luma Matte transitions from a stock website. And we are going to import them and use them to animate these layers. Now I have imported these two effects, the crumpled paper and the matte transition. We are going to use this to enhance our scene. So let's import the matte transition into the layer and put it above the layer we want to animate. And this is same as the trim paths animation we did before. We are just going to use this as a matte. And now we are going to transform this layer according to the size of the layer we want to animate. So that it covers fully. And now we are going to use this Pickwick tool and attach the layer to the transition layer. And we have to change this alpha mat into luma mat for it to work. Now as you can see the animation and transition work. We are going to do the same for the other layer. Now let's preview and see what we have got here. And we are going to change the texture background color and replace with the crumbled paper that we downloaded. And I think it looks good better than the static image. Now as you can see the background shapes disappears after some time that is due to the transition duration. So we are gonna use the time remapping tool and just extend the duration of the layer. So that it doesn't disappear.
now I am arranging the sequence of the layers according to what I need and I think will look good now to make the animations look choppy and jerky just like the Voxy's channel we are going to create a new comp named as final and we are going to insert this main render comp into our new comp and create an adjustment layer on top of it and now we will use post fresh time effect like in the other videos and the animation looks just like Voxy's channel now Now I change the scale of the main render to 105 and then use the wiggle expression on the position keyframe and change it to 2 into 10 and this is how it looks. We will just change back the scale to 101 and let's preview the final render. DeepSeek AI is outsmarting American AI with reasoning and efficiency. If you like this video, please subscribe and like and share with your fellow editors and also the project file link is in the description uh, and comment down below what you want to see next uh, maybe like on the keyframe stuff or how the camera animation works maybe something like that uh, you can comment down below and I will make sure the next video comes what the audience wants Thanks for watching Edit Great. See you in the next video